You know what I hate more than anything? And that is when fucking people enter my room without my permission, like my mom. I am a teenage male, and I don't want my mom walking in on me late at night when I'm doing electronics. So I knew that I needed a lock so I can lock myself in my room. But what am I? This is fucking 2024. I'm not going to go buy a lock for cheap. I'm not going to buy a lock with Wi-Fi capabilities, fingerprint sensors, and play it on my phone, use my Alexa. No, 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 no. What, what do I look like? A, a stupid moron? I'm going to build my own lock. So you might be wondering, well, how the fuck are you going to build your own lock? And it's, it's quite simple, actually. So I just graduated high school, and my high school used these little card readers. You know, you swipe in front of the door, and the door opens, and then you get to go to class. And I'm like, shit, dude, like, I have a card reader. I, I can hook this up to my door, no problem. And it's going to be an easy lock for me to access. Just put the little card on my keys, put another one on the back of my phone, and I enter whenever I want. Turns out, this is a lot harder than I thought it was. So, this is the RFID module right here. And I'm like, I'm going to use my old Arduino Mega that I have, and I'm going to make a lock out of this. So, so I wire it up, upload the code, and it works perfectly. And I was like, oh shit, I mean, this is going to be easy. Like, this is like child's toy right here. I'm going to finish this in a day. Project's going to be done with. That did not happen. So, so then the next day came uploaded a different code it's a little more complicated so the card keys could work with different ones i program into it and guess what the module does not work the module doesn't work and i was like oh my god i was like what the hell did i do to it but i did a little bit of research and it turns out the module uses 3.3 volts and i plugged it into the 5 volt and i was like shit dude shit uh, I thought I burned that card, and 10 bucks on Amazon, so I used to order a new one. But, but it turns out that wasn't the issue. That wasn't the issue at all. The issue was I had the reset pin in pin 10 when I programmed it to be in pin 9. So I didn't have to wait five days for my Amazon package to come from China all the way to my house. And instead, I could just move one pin over. One one one. one one pin over and anyway i use um new ones anyway because i was like new i guess i might as well put some good use to it i got a few more key cards out of the two so that's good so now i have more ways to unlock my door but but then it got a little more ambitious again so you might have saw from my shorts that i made a knock lock and this is where things get interesting so the car module works very well. You can swipe the little card in front of it, opens the door. And I was like, then I was like, what if I forget my key card? I mean, think about it. Like, what if I forget my key card? I'm, I'm stuck out of my room. I can't enter my room. The screws to the door are on the inside of my room, so I can't even unscrew the door to get in my room. I, I have to break a window to get in there. So... I was like, I, I, I guess I have to make a combination, you know, like a little digit combination to get in there. No, I'm, I'm not making a combination. Like I said earlier, this is 2024, baby. We don't need combinations anymore. Combinations existed in the 80s and the 70s. Come on. Let's make something a little more better. And that's where the knock lock came in. So is this a combination that you make with, your, with a knock? on a door it's brilliant huh brilliant i mean this has been going on for years but people here not machines and i'm not sitting by my door waiting for somebody to make a knock that i remembered i'm damn programming an arduino to do that for me and that's exactly what i did so here's the code right here okay that was the code that y'all wanted it lasted a second long and and here's the wiring configurate configuration this is what it looked like on my door and now let's test it out let's test it out Oh shit, guess what? Didn't work on the fucking first time. Or the second. Or the third. It's registering knocks when I don't even knock. Now it's not registering my knocks when I knock. 
now it's making a completely different knock than what I started out with. Like, this thing took me too long to admit. And guess what? It's not even my code. I just got this code off the GitHub and I just modified it for my personal use. And I still couldn't get it to work. And then when I tried to copy the code because I thought I knew how it worked, it didn't work at all. So I went back to the old code. But thankfully, it actually does work now. So, if you like this video, please subscribe. It helps the channel out. But if you want to learn more about how this actually works, and not just this filming I did right here to make a fun video about it, you can go. You can go look at my other video that I'm about to post about this later this week, and it's going to give a full detail, full breakdown of every component I chose, how it all works together, how the code matches with the actual hardware of the door, and how I made the lock. What it's just going to go down through everything. It's not going to be as edity as this. It's just going to. I'm just going to spill out all the information. But anyway, if you like learning about electronics. Or if you like working out, even though I haven't posted a working out video in like two months, please subscribe to the channel and let me know what you want to see next.